friends and welcome back to my channel, Maika here. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Maika Vidal. I'm a musical theater writer. And on this channel, I take you through the process of writing a musical from the page all the way to the stage. <laughs> so if any of that interests you, please make sure to like, subscribe. It really, really helps. This is the favorite comment I've received since making the last video. Make sure to leave your comments below. I do try and feature them in this section. But before we jump into today's vlog, per usual, let's do a little housekeeping. Now, if you've been a long time subscriber, you've already heard this spiel before, but I'm just here to note that the vlog is intentionally a couple of months behind because of the nature of the work that I do. And so with that in mind, I'd also like to remind you that these vlogs are about showing the writing process and not necessarily a proof of concept. That means that whatever I talk about here doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be included in the show. And that's just really important because sometimes you need to explore all avenues to figure out which one leads you to the right place. And so last thing before we jump into the vlog, I talk about making a what in my bag. And as I have like two functioning bags that I'm using pretty much now, is that something you guys want to see? Always love those videos. Maybe I should make it like a shorts or something. Let me know what you think about it in the comments and we'll take it from there. And so with that, let's jump into the vlog. friends it is currently 9 53 p.m oh i have to take out my coffee dump it out but i thought i'd catch up now that i'm back home i came back from the library at about five ish but i had a doctor's appointment today so i'd been up and i slept pretty badly yesterday so i ended up taking a nap and then i got pizza down the street literally down the street it's so fun i, I love that about New York. I love having so many delicious things super close. And uh, now I'm gonna write some more. But before I do that, I did wanna catch up with you. Maybe I'll do a what's in my bag because I've been using this bag pretty religiously going to the library. I have to say I love how close my library is and just like how easy it is. Also, I have to show you something. I posted this over on my Instagram. Look how small my pencil is right now. Like, it is so little. I know it can go littler, but I was having trouble writing with it. It's just started hurting my hand. So I think I'm going to call it. I'm going to put this baby away. I have a couple of pencils I want to start, but these are the two that I got going on right now. I'll take the shortest one, which I think in terms of there, I think it's this one. So we'll do this one next and then we'll put that one away. Hold on. <laughs> the first small pencil of the year and I'm gonna keep them all in here my little pencil box we'll see how many of these we can do in a year I'm actually really excited about counting them I was inspired by this tiktoker her name is Felisa Estrada she like keeps little pencils she does like conducting study it's been really inspiring to see her little pencils now that we got this one which I have to sharpen let's talk about where we are in the story I worked on scene five today or rather I'm working on scenes five, six, and seven, which are actually what I wrote for the excerpt. I had to reprint my excerpt and I, and I have to find my stapler too, actually. What I'm struggling with at the moment is having scene five make sense because I really thought that I would take Baby Your Day out and maybe put it in a different place, but I don't think that that's how it's going to work. I need to sort of marry these two scenes together. I'm just having a hard time writing a scene that feels specific to my characters. And this is the conclusion I reached as I left the library, which is why I ended up leaving the library, as you can see here. I need to go back and revise scene five. I wrote that scene brand new when I sent it over to John and it shows everything feels too unstable right now to keep going further so hi miss Mirren. this is Mirren, my roommate's cat hi baby girl so that's where i am right now i'm gonna take this scene five marry it to this scene five and I'm just, I'm stressing a bit, okay? I keep looking over there because that's where I think the camera is, but I actually have my phone flipped right now, so I gotta look there. Anyway, I'm really stressed right now. The scene is not functioning right, and John's very much like, just fast draft, just fast draft. And I'm trying to. I really, really am. I'm gonna marry those two scene fives, transfer the scene six that I wrote in my notes app over on a new final draft document that's gonna start on scene five, and then maybe write scene seven, or she's barely. Oh my God. I don't actually know if I'm going to be able to, but the current scene seven that I have now has like no punch. I'm gonna get writing before Miss Marion gets carried away by trying to 
make me her new official petter. My roommate didn't come home tonight, so she's feeling especially lonely. <gasps> Let's get to work. Hi friends, it is currently 2.30. It's sort of a late day. I stayed up quite late last night working on scene five and the goal for today is to finish it. I've decided that I'm gonna tackle the rest of July as if I was a woman on a mission. So instead of writing one page a day, I've outlined the remainder of the scenes. I think it's 12 scenes in act one. I am just going to try and do a draft of one scene every day. It's a lot, but I live 10 minutes from the library, so I'm just gonna spend all my time there and make it happen. I just got an email from grad school and we start orientation on the 30th of August. So that's like my hard deadline on this, right? So like if I wanna finish Café con Neche, I'm gonna need to speed up the writing process because like once school starts, I don't really know what it's gonna look like. I just, I need to step up and keep grinding this thing out. <sighs> so let's use July for that. So I'm heading to the library. I'll see you there. for today was to finish scene five. It is so long. It is such a long scene. Also, I had literally like multitasking, but I had trouble syncing my drafts. Here, let me set you here. So I have draft five open right here on, oh, so now it, now it appears, of course. So this is what I wrote yesterday when I was working on it. But then when I was at the library, this did not sync up. You see how now it has two versions. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna attempt a draft one at the library. And this is all that I ended up writing today. I do wanna figure out how many words it is because it feels extremely long right now in a good way. It's a really like detailed and interwoven scene. So I wanna see how many words that is. So let's figure it out together. Okay, I wrote six pages single space as you can see here on this google doc so it would be even longer on like an actual final draft file but let's see extensions tools word count i wrote 1708 words today in terms of my scene i think i have i have a significant amount of pages left this is the script from the excerpt, this is my new draft five that I sent to John and I'm blending these together to create the scene five that needs to happen. Because it's not done yet, I can't go to bed. Like today I am finishing scene five. I'm gonna read the scene five that I wrote yesterday and see if I like any of the changes that I made there, but then I'm deleting it because I, I don't want multiple versions of the ones that I'm working on right now on my computer because I'm sticking to it and I'm gonna keep going. I have some rice cooking. I'm probably gonna make a little like fish rice nori bowl to eat tonight because it's only 10. So I'm probably gonna go to bed in about four-ish hours and we'll take it from there. Tomorrow it should be a bit easier since I have the majority of scene six already done, but I feel like scene five is such a pivotal scene since that's really the first time that Megan and Alejandra meet that we decide what the special is and it's really like the coup between Natalie and Michelle and Alejandra. Forgive the mess, but that's the reality of living. <laughs> so with that, let's get to writing. It is currently 
1257. I'm on my way to the library. This was TMI, but I'm having like the worst period cramps ever. So I'm hoping that just walking, getting some sun will fix that. <laughs> I got another email from NYU today and we have now our assignments. They were also really adamant that I won't have any time to work on my personal projects. And while I don't think that is necessarily true in the sense of like, yes, I'm sure I'm gonna be busy, but like I can't write all the time. I think it'll be a good idea for me to finish as much of the CCL writing process, rewrite amalgam that it is that I have right now. Finished scene five yesterday, it took pretty much till the evening. I ended up with about 1900 or so words. And today I'm gonna to tackle scene six. I already have a, like a rough outline of that already written. So I'm just gonna read it over, make sure I hit everything. And I really think that the majority of my day today is gonna to be spent working on scene seven because that is the scene where Alejandra and Megan get to actually talk and I do want them to sort of flirt and get to know each other. So we'll see how this plays out. I do feel like the show is taking longer, if that makes any sense. I feel like the song between the two of them should happen way sooner you know usually in musical theater the couple falls in love very early on this is just rough draft right with that take my barnes noble bag and we're gonna go to the library i'll see you there hey gang it is currently i think like 506 507 and I didn't get to record at the library because I sat in a spot that I hadn't sat in in the last couple days and I got there a little bit later than usual. We just did not vibe. They were just uncomfortable with me because I'm a new face at the local library and you know, they've been going for a while. I just let it be and I didn't record anything. But uh, today we're doing something special. I went to Coney Island, I think when I first got here for like 4th of July weekend, it was really packed. I didn't really get to see anything. But my friend Nasa, who is sort of the person that inspired this whole NYU thing, she's in the city, we're going to Coney Island. So I'm gonna go head out and meet with her. We're meeting at about 6.30, probably just gonna hang, eat something and come back here later. I'm looking forward to it. Love to see sunset at the beach. I've never seen the Atlantic this close. So let's go to the beach, beach. <laughs> I'm excited. Also, I do look like a potato. <sighs> or an egg. An egg. <laughs> Hi, it is currently 12.30 a.m. Got back from the beach at around like 11. I had a great time with my friend Nisa. I'm super tired and I didn't get any video because you know what? I was like in the moment enjoying Coney Island and just talking for like four hours and it was really, really good. I was gonna say no because I was like, I could write, I could work. Cause it was just like a uh, spontaneous, like, hey, you wanna go to Coney Island? And I was like, yes. Yes, I do. And my one thing was like, if I finish scene six, then I will go. And it's, you know, I wrote 700 words today and I finished what I need to set out to do. I am prepped for tomorrow so that when I go to the library, I can write. And it's just overall, it's one of those things. I'm just, I'm really glad I said yes. All right, I'm gonna do some last minute email stuff because the world does not stop. And then I'm going to bed because I went to sleep really late last night. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Hello friends, it is currently 12.44 a.m. I, as you can see, just took a shower. Today has been a day in a good way. Scene seven, which is the last like scene that I had dialogue for, and it's sort of the last scene before we move into like unprecedented, never before seen territory. I hate when things don't sync. It really stresses me out. <laughs> I have something else on my iPad and it's not matching. Okay, there it is. Okay, okay. <sighs> okay. Who I just thought I lost all my words. Anyways, it's the last scene that I wrote for the excerpt. It's the latest song that I wrote called Superstition. Also, 
it is sort of like the meet cute that I've been trying to perfect for a while. My plan was to finish scene seven today so that I could start working on scene eight tomorrow, but it's just not gonna happen. Like I spent four-ish hours at the library today writing, then I went and got some clothes at Target. If you've like been a long time follower of this channel, I'm always wearing a sweater, even when it's hot outside because like I had AC in my apartment and you know, I always get cold from trying to keep it temperate. Well, I don't have AC in my year in New York apartment. I just have a little fan that keeps me kind of cool. And so like, I definitely need like summer clothes. So I went on Target's like clearance section and just bought stuff. Luckily, like there was a lot of stuff here in New York for my size because everyone is super tiny and hot. I benefit from that, baby. <laughs> could not be me. I did that, I hung out with my roommate who is so lovely and we just don't really get to hang out very much because she has such a busy work schedule. Can you hear that? <laughs> That's literally outside my apartment. Anyway, I wrote as much as I could. I really did try, but at the end of the day, in scene seven, I got 927 words. And again, this is just dialogue. On the 13th, let me show you. That's sort of how I've been tallying my work lately, just whatever I'm working on, because I'm doing it by scene now. Scene, word count, date, and time. So here was yesterday's. So scene six of 146 words, and I finished by 412. So yesterday was an early day, that's why I went to the beach. But today was not that good of a day. I mean, obviously not every day is going to be a winner. I still wrote 927 words on a day that I did not feel my best. So I have a song called Superstition in which they kind of get to know each other like way too deeply, like too intensely. And I don't know if that works in this moment. If you've been a long time follower of my project, you know that Alejandra, which is the song at the end of act two, and one of the very first songs I wrote for this musical, well, the melody was taken from a song I wrote called For a Stranger. And For a Stranger has the same number of syllables as Alejandra, and it's also accented in the right place. So it was like a very like beautiful impetus moment of eureka of like everything in that moment made sense i cannot think of words right now and it's so interesting because i love the title of that song that was supposed to have been like the sixth or seventh song i wrote it wasn't like that deep into my songwriting history but i absolutely love the title of for a stranger and i just came up with it and i've been kind of hoarding it and i've been thinking about where to put it i was talking with my friend nathan and we were talking about revision over on instagram and that's sort of how i'm feeling right now for this title I think that I love the idea of this scene being like, for a stranger, she really gets me. And so it's going from this I'll know vibe, which was what I always thought this would be, into more of a carousel if I loved you situation. I have enjoyed drafting this on my iPad on notes. It feels just, again, like super frictionless experience. And as long as I don't stop doing this every day, and sort of committing to the scene, I think I'll be okay. I'm sort of disappointed that I didn't finish scene seven the way I wanted to, but this scene is so pivotal that I don't think I can rush it. Tomorrow I'm gonna write and then I'm gonna fill the well. My friend Nico, he went to see my show. Here's a photo of us looking fucking cool, but I'm gonna go see his show at the Latine Lab. And then also Divergentes, which is also Chilean based. And I'm just ready to watch some theater, fill the well. This will be like my first local show in New York. I feel like there's a different vibe between seeing a local show and seeing like a Broadway show. Those are two completely different experiences. You know, this will be like 15 bucks. It's gonna be chill. I see a lot of working writers, working actors, and I think that's just so freaking cool. Now I have work to do because I'm gonna be out tomorrow night, which means I need to get like half of it done tonight. So I'm gonna do that for about an hour and then head to bed. And with that, I'll see you tomorrow and hopefully I'll be wearing something new, which is so exciting.